Now in this general considerations let me talk about another common general consideration which is called as the concentration dependent killing and time dependent killing right which is called as concentration dependent killing and the other one is time dependent killing now let me tell you about the concentration dependent killing first the concentration dependent killing means that the killing effect of a drug right the killing effect of the drug is high when ratio of peak concentration to mic is more right let me explain you this so concentration dependent killing let me put it as cdk right let me put it as the cdk so concentration dependent killing means the killing effect of the drug all right the killing effect of the drug is high okay the killing effect of the drug is high when right when ratio of the peak concentration right when ratio of the peak concentration to mic is more all right now what does this mic mic stands for minimum inhibitory concentration right minimum inhibitory concentration is what is called as the mic so in concentration dependent killing the killing effect of the drug is very high when ratio of the peak concentration to the mic is more that means if the peak concentration is more compared to that of the minimum inhibitory concentration then the killing effect of the drug is very high that is what is called as concentration dependent killing that means more is the concentration of the drug more will be the killing effect of the drug than compared to the minimum inhibitory concentration now let me tell you the examples of the antibiotics which will follow the concentration dependent killing remember this type of killing behavior is exhibited by the antibiotics that is aminoglycosides right that is aminoglycosides and fluoroquinolones okay so aminoglycosides and as well as fluoroquinolones they follow the concentration dependent killing for killing the microorganism now so these drugs produce a better action when used as a large single dose as compared to the same daily dose divided in two to three portions all right so what i want to tell you here is the large dosage of this particular drug is more effective right it is more effective compared to the same daily dose right compared to the same daily dose divided in 2 to 3 portions right divided in 2 to 3 portions this is what is called as the concentration 
dependent killing all right next we have another entity which is called time dependent killing now what is this time dependent killing time dependent killing means here the antimicrobial action depends upon the length of time the concentration remains above the minimum inhibitory concentration all right so time dependent killing i will represent this as tdk so time dependent killing what you should understand here is the antimicrobial action of the drug depends upon the length of time the concentration remains above the minimum inhibitory concentration okay so it is the length of time right length of time the concentration remains right the concentration remains above minimum inhibitory concentration all right so tdk means the antimicrobial action it depends upon the length of time the concentration remains above the minimum inhibitory concentration the multiple choice question here is what are the group of antibiotics which will follow the time dependent killing right the examples are beta lactams right beta lactams they follow time dependent killing the other group are macrolides right the other group are macrolides so they develop these beta lactams and macrolides they develop this time dependent killing now so in this like it is exactly quite contrary to the concentration dependent killing in concentration dependent killing what did i tell you the large dose of the drug will have more effect than compared to that of the divided doses of small daily dose right whereas here multiple daily doses are preferred over the single dose okay so for these drugs multiple daily doses they are preferred over single dose this is what is called as the concentration dependent killing and time dependent killing so in concentration dependent killing the killing effect of the drug is high when ratio of peak concentration to the minimum inhibitory concentration is more right and the examples of the antibiotics which will follow the concentration dependent killing is aminoglycosides and as well as the fluoroquinolones the large dose is more effective than compared to that of the same daily dose divided in 2 to 3 portions if you take the time dependent killing it is the length of time the concentration remains above the minimum inhibitory concentration right this means the antimicrobial action depends upon the length of time the concentration remains above the minimum inhibitory concentration the examples are the beta lactams and as well as the macrolides right and for these drugs remember multiple daily doses are preferred over the single dose